Hey, Dale here from the Time Machine. Going to take an old pal of mine for a ride today. You got it. My 1932 Lincoln V12 LeBaron Roadster. We've been friends for 19 years. Fell in love at first sight with this one. Bought it at the Auburn Auction, 1996. That was the most famous Roy Warshawski auction. And that was the legacy of Roy Warshawski, the founder of Warshawski Auto Parts and J.C. Whitney's. Had a tremendous collection of cars, primarily Lincoln's. And they say this was Roy's favorite car. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this V12 Lincoln while we're driving. I'm going to stop and put the top down, see what it's like with the top down. Here we go. God, I love this car. Well, there's nothing like the fairway on the 14th at Pebble. Unfortunately, that's not where we're at. We're in Maggie Valley, North Carolina, going for a ride in Roy Warshawski's 32 Lincoln LeBaron. We've had the top up. Now it's time to put the top down, finish this ride. Top goes down. It's so cool. It just folds right up, hides, covers up. Nothing like a LeBaron Roadster. It's actually quite simple. That is it. Now on the top down, it's got a beautiful little tonneau cover. Makes it perfect. And perfect for the occasion. Well, it doesn't make a difference if you're in Pebble Beach, Amelia Island, or the Maggie Valley Golf Course. The 32 Lincoln LeBaron starts the same way. And probably one of the most asked questions at Wheels Through Time or what is the gizmos on the steering wheel? And it's so simple. Throttle, timing, and headlight. Now, the starting procedure is quite simple. Your key lock is right here. All the key does is lock the ignition. To turn the ignition on, just pull the lever up. Set your timing at about halfway and your throttle down to zero. When it's cold, you want to give it full choke up on the dashboard. It's not cold. In fact, the engine's nice and warm. So I'm going to leave the choke off. So with all these controls set, starter buttons on the left. Have you noticed lately on new cars they have starter buttons? You think it was something new. Here's the button. Watch it start. And it runs so good. Control the throttle right here, or use the foot feed, and this LeBaron's ready to go. A little information on the LeBaron Roadster and the Lincoln product in general. Lincoln in 32 made a boatload of varieties of body styles, but only 112 LeBaron Roadsters were ever built. The engine has 448 cubic inches and has a wheelbase of 145 inches. That's a massive wheelbase on an old car. Also, the dry weight of this automobile is over 5,300 pounds. It's an amazing hunk of steel, iron, and rubber. Henry Leland started his car career by founding Cadillac in 1903. Little did he expect by 1917, he would be the founder of the Lincoln Company. Ford bought Lincoln in 1922 and left Leland at the helm. 
he immediately went to work building high quality automobiles that were above the price of your average Ford. In 1932 was his high water mark in developing the LeBaron Roadster styled Lincoln. This is called the K model KB. The KB is a 448 cubic inch V12 fork and blade rod. Now Lincoln carried a V12 engine all the way through the Zephyr years, but most car enthusiasts really know that the glory days of the Lincoln V12 was only two years, 1932 and half of 1933. That's when the true KB fork and block Lincoln was made. His 448 cubic inch motor was downsized in 1933, late 33, to the 414 cubic inch massive V12 in the later Lincolns. Subsequently, the cast all-in-one block, the Lincoln Zephyr, was far an inferior engine to the Lincoln V12 of his previous years. The LeBaron Roadster with its big 150 horsepower 12-cylinder engine was capable of speeds up to 80 miles an hour. Although gearing was usually set for 60, the KB Lincoln was known for speed and power and is undoubtedly the best car that Lincoln ever built.